welcome back on a gorgeous Sunday afternoon before Thanksgiving. The Seattle Sounders extended their commitment to community to Seattle's sister city of Kobe, Japan. It was Japan Football League's Visel Kobe's first appearance in the United States, a match to raise money for earthquake relief. Here now some of the sights, sounds, and thoughts of an historic soccer match. Early in the match, on the AstroTurf at Memorial, Kobe threatens with a nice shot off the left foot of Yune Nieto. It's wide to the left, but still tied at zero. But off of a Marcus Kahneman laps, he misses the ball, and there is Akiro Nagashima with the easy score. It's one to nothing Kobe. <laughs> the corner kick. Watch the header by Nagashima. Heads up play though by Billy Crook to save a potential goal. Sounders now with the ball. Watch the great counter-attack opportunity with number 11 Sean Medved. Watch him. He'll have no angle. He somehow gets it by the goalkeeper into the net and it's a one-to-one -one tie. Nice shot. Hanneman with the long boot about 55 yards in the air. Ishishiwi with the mistake that almost costs Kobe. Medved will center to number 14, Jason Dunn. He flips it with the left foot, but it's off the post. The match is still tied. Another chance for the Sounders. Billy Crook with the center to Dunn. It's wide to the right. He wishes he had that one back again. With 15 minutes left in the first half, here comes Kobe. Thomas Bickle takes advantage of the pass to Nagashima. It's 2-1 to one Kobe. The team from Japan continues to put on the pressure, but the Sounder defense this time was up to the task. Watch number 17, John Doyle. A great header to knock the ball out. Bickle gets the ball back. Long boot, high and wide to the left. Now, final moments, first half. Jason Farrell's boot gets by the goalkeeper. Chance Fry will get a great chance to score. A nice defense by Nasuhiro to save a sure goal. 2-1 to one Kobe at intermission. Early in the second half, Dunn with a nice center coming up to Eric Storks, and his header is just to the right, though. Kobe's turn to get close. Again, the shot winds up. This time, it'll be just to the left of the goal. It remains 2-1, Kobe. Corner kick time for Seattle. Jason Farrell will stop it. A nice pass to Karen Barton with a proud papa on the bench. Way to go, Frankie. That's so fun, Frankie. There you go. I don't get many like that. Just having a good time and it, and it just happened. It's always fun when something like that can happen. Ten minutes to go in the match. Score tied at two. Neil makes it with the key shot of the game. The ball goes off of the defender. It's 3-2 Sounders. And even Neil makes it. Can't believe he scored. Led me a ball and I whipped, whipped it across. Uh, I think one of the defenders uh, actually put it into his own net. And I'm going to swear blind that it was bending and I meant to do it, but, but it wasn't. Kobe with one final chance as the clock runs out. Thomas Bickle floats a header. It's off the crossbar. The Sounders hold on and win a great international match. Thank you. And the final score before over 7,000 fans, the Sounders 3, Basel Kobe 2. But of course, the score is not really important. What's important is the money raised for the earthquake victims back in Kobe. The cause itself was, was always going to be the most important thing. Uh, I think both teams played in a very competitive spirit. Uh, both
both teams gave a very good performance, I thought. I think the crowd, the crowd were very pleased. So any money that they've paid, they've, they've been, uh, it's, they've had good value for them. And I think the crowd was really into it. Uh, win or lose, we knew it was going to be for the right reasons, and, and I hope we, we raised a lot of money for the earthquake relief efforts. And the course is the thing that we, um, we, we, we had on our mind. Um, now, and there was a ter terrible um, disaster over there, and it's great that a sporting event can bring so many people to, to do so much good stuff for, uh, for that community and for our community.